Okay. Let us continue. If the narcissist could talk about your relationship and about how he feels about you, etc., here's some more things he might say or she might say. We are in this relationship right now, you think. But once I find something new and shiny to interest me, you are so easy to forget. Sort of like toys. When I'm playing with my Barbies and it gets monotonous, I throw her under the bed or pick up a new toy. And I might not even see her again until a long time later. Out of sight, out of mind for me. Unless the whim hits me to maybe look for her once in a while if I'm curious as to the state she might be in. You know, with the dog chewing everything up in sight. I don't really care if the dog chews the doll, though, but sometimes I do wonder if he did. I have a new toy now, and for the time being, it amuses me. He also might say, Why do I love you? I say I love you because you're what I can't be, and you have something I want for myself. You are nice looking. You have money. You're secure in your own skin. You're a leader at your company. I don't really have any of this probably could never hope to have any of this but I know I long for it and if I hook up with you I can have it through you sometimes I'll give you whatever it is I think you want or need but then when I choose to I'll simply stop associating with you or I might pick someone to hang out with in front of you because I enjoy making you nervous and envious you will always take me back because you enjoy the excitement of my cat and mouse game you like the excitement of constant crisis and chaos around you. It kind of like supercharging the air and the atmosphere. You'll learn to thrive on that, and you'll feel lost without it. As much as you loathe me and hate me, you believe you love me because I can be so good to you. So exciting, dramatic, and full of life. You are so used to all the chaos in our relationship that you have learned your role very well. And you have no clue how you will survive without all this supercharged stuff that I'm doing to you and the things that are happening around you. I can stir up feelings of shame in you so easily because I know you have very low self-esteem. That's how I got you in the first place. You'll do anything I want because you don't want me to ignore you or leave you or replace you. It's your biggest fear and I know it. I also know that you don't feel good about yourself unless you're taking care of other people. In fact, you will even ignore your own needs as long as mine are being met. Mine never end. What you do will never fill the endless pit inside me, so I'll have you around for a while while trying to fill it. This just saves time and energy that I'd have to use finding my next supply person. I also know that if I can humiliate you when you try to tell me what you need, you'll probably flip out and go do drugs or injure yourself or try to kill yourself or whatever. You are a real wimp, but you are my wimp for the moment. And I have you right where I need you to be. Ashamed, guilty, confused, depressed, and too scared to leave me and take away my supply that keeps me feeling like I exist. When you're really good to me, it makes no sense to me. I mean... I sure wouldn't want to stay with someone like me. So why? Why do you stay? <laughs>